Today we are looking at how to make the sound of a woodpecker woodpecking a tree in Serum. So different notes on the keyboard being different parts of the tree, or maybe different trees, for example. There are some interesting concepts which I'll show you, but first of all, a giveaway! The Production Air Project are giving away a brand new pair of KRK Rocket 6s for free! Yes, free! Shipped to one producer anywhere in the world. Click the link in the description to enter. Free speakers shipped anywhere in the world, that sounds fantastic to me. Anyway, let's, let's deconstruct the sound. Now, there are two main parts to this woodpecker. There is the woodpecker pecking the tree, pecking its nose at the tree, and the second component is the bird itself flapping its wings or just sort of making bird noises. So there are two, as you can see, two components. One component is oscillator A and the other is the noise oscillator. Let's look at first oscillator A, because that's most interesting. So turning off the noise, you can see how the tweeting or the, the flapping of the wings has stopped. In fact, let me show you that very quickly. So just the noise oscillator, the tweeting, the flapping of the wings, and oscillator A is the pecking on the, you, you know woodpeckers, my parents had some in their garden. They, they, they peck, a, peck at the tree. Uh, so that's what oscillator A is. Fantastic. Now, now here are the tricks. Well, there is reverb, by the way. Uh, that, that's just standard stuff. Makes it sound real. Remember, reverb is reverberation. It can, can take an electronic sound and put it in a real space. So it's taking a synthetic thing and making it sound real. Reverb, standard stuff there. But more interesting is this filter, this reverb filter. Now, you probably noticed if you're familiar with Serum, we have this LFO1 being the defining modulation, the movement, the low frequency oscillator at a very, very fast rate. Very, very fast. I've, I've actually assigned it to a macro. So it's faster than 10 times per second. It's very, very fast. That, that's all you need to know there. The LFO1 though, importantly, is not just modulating this wavetable position, moving it through the wavetable, but it's more importantly, it's modulating this filter, this special filter called the reverb filter. Now it's not actually reverb, but it's a filter inspired by reverb basically. And it's one of the most powerful things about Serum. So notice how much of a difference this reverb filter makes. See, it, before the filter, it's just pretty stupid. So that's not very exciting by itself. What we want to, to make it peck, to make it peck, we need to use this reverb filter. So reverb filter, you just see it down here, reverb, and see, peck. Boring, but with reverb, but with the reverb filter, turns it into this Plucky thing, it's, it's, oh, I, I think it's really cool. Anyway, important to note here is that we are modulating this filter. Remember, that's one of the key things about synthesis. It's not just about the rewind, spin back, spin back. Okay, so the key things in synthesis are modulation, so changing something, and then there are normally three main things to play with. So wavetable position, in the case of a wavetable synth like this, filter cutoff, got my fingers muddled up, wavetable position, filter cutoff, pitch, and amplitude. I'll use these sneakers. That's what she said. They're the most important four things to play with. That's where the heart of any sound comes from in synthesis. And so one of these, well, we're doing one of them, wavetable position, but we are also doing the other, modulating the cutoff of a filter. Now, normally it'd be a something like a low pass filter, something looking more, more like a low pass. Sound, sounds okay, but it's not, it hasn't got that edge to it. So I mean, that's what you'd normally do, just filter cut off with the, the low pass filter, but we're doing something more exciting. So we're using the reverb filter. Oh, much nicer, you can see. It's it's mad, it's, it's a crazy filter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mad filter, it's crazy, but it's interesting. So you get the interest by moving it, it's not just stationary. You can see here LFO1 is assigned to cutoff, but it's also applied to this pan position. What this pan does is it's more technically called stereo filter offset. So it splits the left side to the right side and applies a different cutoff value to the left to the right, creating stereo width. So it's like basically having one reverb filter on the left side and a different reverb, or the same reverb, but it's basically having a different cutoff position on the left to the right. And this pan controls the offset, so the difference between the left and the right. Therefore, if you move it, if you modulate it, 
which I'm doing with LFO1, this provides movement. Which is so fast you can't really hear it, but that's okay. But it comes from the side a bit. Notice it comes from the, the right hand side. So it comes from over here, it's subtly moving, but it's more just somewhere else in the stereo image. Whereas if we didn't have any of this, so bypass that, reset control, it's coming at you from the center. As if we don't use this pan, it's the same cutoff on the left or the right, and therefore it sounds central. It still sounds, which still sounds cool, but in my opinion, it's nicer having the, the tweet, the, the bird noise, uh, which you can see on the noise oscillator and the pan. It's nicer having the tweet on one side and then the pecking on the other, because that makes it sound more, or feel more like an actual woodpecker. It's almost like your brain is the woodpecker and a woodpecker's pecking at your brain. So that's that, that, that was the idea there, which I think is cool. So let's move that back to there and unbypass it. So it's like the woodpecker's pecking at your brain just, just, just here. Pick, 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 pick. That, and that's what's going on there. Okay, fantastic. Oh, and LFO one has a bit of a shape to it, but that's all standard stuff. I'm, oh yeah, I should have I should have said this at the beginning. I'm assuming some familiarity with Serum, although you can kind of pick it up anyway. So this LFO one is just modulating the stuff it's modulating. You can see with the blue rings, it's changing that parameter at this rate according to this shape. You've probably seen that before, I'm guessing. Cool, so next is the noise oscillator. I think that's interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. Oh, and what I did as well, side note, before we go on to the actual bird flapping its wings or, or making a tweet noise, I actually assigned, you can see, oh, ah, clicked in the wrong place, peck. So I assigned a macro to the level of this oscillator A, so the amount of pecking, so I could, I could change it relative to the amount of tweeting, just using these macro controls. Basically, controls allowing you to change the parameters of the preset without you having to understand what's happening. You could just load up this preset from a sample pack I made. In fact, I, this was in the, the, the Loop Masters sample pack I made a while ago, for the, the trap. This, I, I, I made a, a pack of presets for the genre trap on Loop Masters on, on their own label uh, some number of years ago, so this was from that pack. For reference. Anyway, 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 so yes, let's go to the tweet. So that's the, the, the tweet is the noise oscillator. And click LFO one to see what it's doing. Oh, and it's a it's a little bird flapping its wings or tweeting. Not really. It's actually this H breath with the LFO one modulating level, so the amplitude, the volume over time, and also the pitch. The pitch makes it sort of go. I can probably show you so. Hear the, the volume going up. In fact, let me just bypass that as well. Four percent. So that is the sample we're using. This H breath. Remember, the noise oscillator is just a sample player. Basically, it plays a sample through. But the cool thing is, it plays a sample, but you can then manipulate it with the same modulation source as for using the oscillators. So you can see we can use this same LFO one to modulate something about this sample in time with the with the pecking from oscillator array. So I bring that back down to 4%, which is where it was. So boing. So that's just the volume going up and down really, really fast according to this shape here. And then if we mess with the pitch, makes it tweet. And this is in fact one of my favorite tricks for, in fact, loads of presets I've made. Loads of my favorite presets I've made have come from modulating pitch at the same time as amplitude. So I've bumped into the chair. So for example, Alien Chicken Noise, which is uh, one, of my, one of my classic presets I made, again for Loop Masters, but for the synth massive. Uh, alien Chicken Noise, you can see here, I'm using this crazy shape, or oh, using editing and stuff, using this crazy shape to modulate both pitch and amplitude at the same time. It's one of my favorite tricks, because it's a cool concept. Um, so yes, that's what I'm doing here. And you can see, you change the sound, you change the bird. Different bird, smaller bird. That's a bigger bird. Uh, I'll back to the one with the smaller bird again. So I mean, you can change the bird. Um, you can just choose the bird, choosing different samples. It's not really a bird, but it sounds like a bird. That's, that's the idea here. Fantastic. And any other points of interest notes? Um, uh, b -b 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 bind Woodpecker. I wrote a little note because if you press the wrong note on the keyboard, so if I go too high, that doesn't sound like a woodpecker at all. Whereas if, if I go too low, that's not. It's closer to a woodpecker, but not quite. You can see that's definitely not a woodpecker. So. 
if to find the right octave. This is in fact a common theme amongst most presets. Most presets only really work and sound good within one octave range, possibly two, but normally just one. So if you're trying presets or even just if you're working on one yourself and you or you're working on it, make sure you try a range of octaves from low to high you know, using a keyboard or Ableton Push or something. Just try them all because oftentimes the best sound in the world in one octave sounds completely unusable elsewhere. So that's why I wrote Find Woodpecker. Uh, I, I wrote that in the wrong box as well. That's actually the author box. This is before I, I, I knew there were two boxes. This was back in the day before I knew there were two boxes. So if, if I should show you for example, it's all gremlin. Um, oh no, that's awful. No, let's change that. Um, oh, most evil mega death. There you go. Classic multiplier. Uh, then I, you, you can write notes in the box there. Where is the author name? Goes on the right. Go nuts with the macros. Z. If you, if you put Z instead of S, that's also a way to uh, be cool. Um, uh, uh, polyphony is super nice. Uh, super using uh, la lazy lazy choice of adjectives. Choose better adjectives. Not in tune, play with the note graph. Now we're just reading descriptions for different presets. Bass notes, play them and be scared. So you can write little notes to yourself. Um, so you can either use them for logic, so you can see in some of them, you know, I wrote like polyphony is nice, so by layering overlapping notes, you can get some cool results. Almost like tips for how to best use the preset. You could you could write that, or you could just, uh, well, I suppose that's a useful tip, bass notes, um, to play the bass notes, not the top ones. Um, and, but then you can just use the rest for fun. Play them and be scared. I'm very scared. Um, Detune is the most useful macro. And that is a useful comment. So um, how are we doing for time? Good. And that, that, there we have it. That bah, 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 words are difficult. There we have it, everybody. The sound of a woodpecker. So how to make it the sound of the woodpecker in Serum along with some useful knowledge at the same time. So you learn some cool concepts about how you can... Oh, I forgot to show you something. There was me thinking oh, I've, I've shown you everything and I forgot to. So do you remember how with the with the pecking bit? It sounded like it's coming out bumped into the headphone there. That's weird. Sounding like it was pecking you more on the right side. That you can even see it on the level meter down here. It's pecking you more from the right. Therefore, oh, I stuck, pressed it by accident. Okay. Therefore, on the noise oscillator, I panned it left. You can see the pan panned left. So it's like it's flapping over here, but it's pecking you here. In fact, it should be. Yeah, it's confusing. Anyway, but yes. Yeah, Hand in different positions to create more of that stereo imaging illusion uh, vibes. My name is Multiplier, and I will catch all oh, the giveaway. So yes, an, an additional note about the giveaway. Free if you if you like the idea of free KRK KRK Rocket Sixes and, and shipped anywhere for free, shipped anywhere in the world. If you like the idea of that, enter in the link below in the description bit. There'll be a link to the just click it and then go, go type your type your name and stuff. And then you might win. Brilliant. Fantastic. My name is Multiplier. I will catch you guys on the flippity flip.